Bay, though, where the family of two teen brothers killed at a birthday party are seeking justice. After learning, the suspect in that case will face no more than seven years in custody. Brothers Angel and J.C. Sotelo Garcia were killed at a birthday party in 2022. The Alameda County District Attorney's Office decided the suspect will remain in the juvenile court system. The victim's family says that is not justice. Advocates say it's appropriate, and Dahlin has the story. Justice reform advocates say the suspect was 17 years old at the time, and he deserves a second chance. But the victim's family says two murders and seven years? Where's the accountability? A year and a half after the shooting, emotions are still raw for the victim's family. Melanie Garcia Macias misses her cousins, Angel and JC Sotelo Garcia, every day. Sometimes I, I feel like I'm going crazy because I feel like I see them in like the crowd. Melanie was extremely close to the two boys. She says the killings tore apart the family and they'll never be the same. Christmases and Every other holiday does not feel complete. Like we try, but their absence is felt greatly. She says they're serving a life sentence of grief. The defendant has not been sentenced yet. So seven years is the max that he can get. He could get one or he could get none. Melanie says about 10 days ago, District Attorney Pamela Price decided to keep the suspect in the juvenile court system. The family pleaded with Price to charge the suspect as an adult. The suspect was 17 years old at the time. He's accused of killing 15-year-old Angel and 17-year-old JC at a birthday party in Oakland in October of 2022. Gunfire also injured additional teenagers. Police say the brothers were innocent victims. They were students at Berkeley High. You cannot hold someone to the same standards when they're a teenager as you would an adult. George Galvis is the executive director of Dream Beyond Bars. He's personally met the suspect. He and his staff are working to turn the young man's life around. Prisons are not the answer. The safest communities don't have the most police. They don't have the most prisons. They have the most resources. George and other Pamela Price supporters will hold the press conference on Tuesday. They want to show the public they support Price's decision in this case and other cases involving minors. A different DA would at least hear us out. As for Melanie, she's urging the public to contact and pressure Price to reverse her decision. There's nothing that anybody could do to bring back Angel and JC. They can help us heal, help us feel as though there has been justice and closure for our boys. We reached out to the district attorney for a response. Her office says they cannot comment on cases involving minors.